good afternoon good afternoon and good afternoon so we are here another interview it's about 85 mm 1.8 showdown we have uh, three nikon 85 for 1.8 three not one not two three three from three different uh, period of time two of them which is this one and this one these two are for the f mount i can have phone and this one for the nikon z mount good afternoon Amas. how are you so why we are going to have these three lens and what they are for well let's uh, let me be honest with you these three are entirely different lenses when it comes to image output totally different although 85, 85, 85, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8. But when you are going to shoot each of them, like if you, because these two are the F mount, so even let's suppose if you are having any F mount camera, like E750, E700, E4, whatever, these two produce different results. When it comes to this, this for the Z6 and Z5, it produced different results. Why? Walaikum salam, Arkin. How are you? I hope everything is fine at your end. So, when it comes, Ali Bhai just joined in. I was about to message you today. Anyways, when it comes to these three different 85 1.8, it's up to you what you want. Overall, from the general perspective, from the general perspective, this is the way that edge to edge sharp, edge to edge sharp, creamy bokeh, good contrast. Like it's one of the ideal portrait lens. You just go with it blindly. You won't be disappointed. Hundred percent. This is 85 1.8 S. Now, when it comes to this F mount. My all-time favorite was this one, 85 1.8 G, okay, 85 1.8 G, but the problem is, this was my all-time favorite portrait, but now this is not, this is my all-time favorite now, because this 85 1.8 has superseded all the expectation or all the results when it comes to corner to corner sharpness, overall sharpness, uh, depth, inundation, micro contrast, this thing exceed everything. But if you are, if you don't have any F uh, Z mount camera, and you have only F mount cameras, then this is the best deal. So, okay, if this is the best deal, when it comes to F mount, then what is this all about? What's so special in it? Why I'm putting this lens into this comparison? This is the point where not many photographers think about it. This is 85 1.8 D type. Now, we are, I always, uh, I, most of the time you heard me saying 3D image rendition, three dimensional image on two dimensional plane, on the two dimensional sensor. How a 2D sensor can able to produce 3D quality image is because of these D type glass. And I can D type glass have this ability to render the image in three dimensional why because they are able to have kind of a massive chromatic abrasion and chromatic abrasion is basically uh, helps you to render image in a three dimensional this is a fact which not many people knows about it so i have shot from this lens like this scene where i am having this bottle all right this is the bottle i shot this bottle with this lens and literally it looks out that it the image from the camera screen looks like it's going this bottle is going to jump out from the screen this is what it's called 3d rendition i have the sample images i will upload it uh, for all these three and you will see that at 1.8 of course when it comes to sharpness this is the king period no doubt but you have to go for z6 z7 or C50, right? You cannot use this thing on F mount. You cannot. But you can use F mount on Z, but you cannot use Z 
on their phone. Till now, it's not like that. Uh, if you don't want chromatic aversion, if you don't, you are uh, much more happy to go with the uh, uh, much sharper lens on headphones, then this is your deal. This is your camera uh, lens. This lens is for those people who are really crazy like me, who <laughs> who is still shooting old stuff because these lenses produces some kind of a magical results, especially if you are shooting in black and white. This produces much different tonality and depth, which you are not able to see in G tag. You can't. Only D tag lenses, 85 1.8 D, 85 1.4 D. Only these two lenses can produce such a creamy out, creamy output, which you cannot find in, in G tag. You have this creamy output with better sharpness than this. So there is a trade-off in all of these three. You cannot get everything in one of the lens. You can't. Like for example, uh, you get a, a great micro contrast and a creamy background. Uh, 1.8. Ah, Hashim Bhai is saying, and I can add C85 1.8. Ko bhuli gaya. No, 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 no. There is another 85. Uh, uh, HC 85 1.8. That lens is actually kind of AIS lens. It's, it's much older than this. So this is latest, latest and greatest. This is kind of a mid edge. This is old. The Hashimai which was saying 85 1.8 HC, that's still much older. So it's like grandpa. If this is grand, daddy, this is father, this is grandson. So great granddaddy, that was 85 1.8 HC. By the way, that is also amazingly sharp lens. Amazing. But of course, it have, it's not edge to edge sharp. This one is optimized for H2H sharp. This one will give you the best of everything at economical price. Less chromatic abrasion, micro contrast is really good. Best in, in G tag lenses. It's this one is far, far better than 85.4G. I can bet on that. People who use this lens, they agree on this. That this is a better lens in many ways this one is better lens uh, of course the size is different this is much comes with more glass element less glass this comes with 12 glass elements in nine groups this comes with nine glass elements in nine groups I forgot about this one but uh, I love this lens it's still one of the best if you find it buy it Trust me, you won't regret. You don't need 1.4. This is the thing. This one is still able to produce such a creamy bokeh. You won't believe. Uh, I shot that yesterday with these three camera, three lenses, and I'll share with you the sample images. Uh, this one, I didn't. Made for video, very smooth focus. You cannot even hear how smooth, how smooth that lens focus does. This one produce uh, kind of a noisy autofocus, which you cannot use for all video. I uh, forget about making video with this one. Forget it. You cannot make video with this one because it's like grrr, grrr. it makes so much noise. See? Can you make? No, you cannot. This one. Less, but still. Check this one. Can you hear anything? No. This is focus by wire technology. It was used. So all the focus was done through the wire was very uh, neutral drive motor was used. Z mount is basically all Z mount lenses are built for 
video built for video the whole z series is designed to go for maximum for video of course the photography is there you can take photos but all the lenses camera bodies are designed for video so their architecture their body their everything is designed based for video so if you are into video you have to go with z mount but if you go with z mount you will get not one but two there are two advantages first of course actually three advantages first of course is mirrorless so you will have all the evf shenanigan second you will get uh, a good uh, video performance third the lenses the best lenses among all this lot tomorrow i will be make another video for one of another lens from z mount i'm sure you will like it but right now i'm going to wrap up this video by saying that these three are the same focal length same aperture but they are radically different output they render totally different output best of all best of all corner to corner sharpness contrast micro contrast colors background rendition foreground rendition yeah, this is amazing lens here it comes to this uh, background shops uh, bokeh is really good but little less than this so this is number second when it comes to background bokeh image rendition is marvelous it's the f when it comes to f mode this is the sharpest f mode all right when it comes to like when you if you are into black and white photography and you want something magical to be happen all right uh, so you have to use this one i can assure you you will not be disappointed because this produces such a magical output when it comes to black and white. Why? Because it produces chromatic abrasion. So chromatic abrasion, when you turn those images into black and white, those violent and magenta will produce the depth in the image in black and white, which these two lenses cannot. So that's why when it comes to black and white, that's my personal experience that I've seen. So I'm not sure, maybe somebody differs from it. But this is how I have seen that all the old images or all the old lenses which produce massive chromatic abrasion, they are very good for black and white photography. Why? Because the magenta cast and purple cast they, they are creating. Those purple and magenta cast helps in black and white to render the image so differently which these two lenses cannot produce. And that's how you can stand, though, stand out that uh, image when it comes to black and white the tonality that you can get the fall off from the side or shoulder that you can get from the model or whoever whatever you you are shooting that kind of a fall off only you will get with this lens with p-tap lenses i hope i do share with you this concept and you're able to get that so whatever the old lenses you are getting and if you are into black and white go for the old lenses if you are general purpose photography normal daily life this is your lens but if you want like perfection perfection in every way no compromise zero tolerance then this is your choice z mount f mount f mount 85 1.8 85 1.8 85 1.8 three different lens from three different period of time delivering same focal length same aperture but with different output i hope i'm going to wrap up now i hope you like this video stay tuned at view and uh, look forward for the more tech and such kind of content take care